hey guys, Scott here for the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. Today we have the uh, XP Days 2, the WS6 Master setup with the WSA2 headphones. Um, I'm just kind of out here playing around my test garden. I wanted to do something on WS or the uh, WS6 setup, Master setup, because uh, I know a lot of people are focusing on the remote and stuff. And this little thing, man, they updated some of the stuff in here, and now, I mean. For all you guys out there who are saying, you know, the, the remote version was too much money, I mean, I totally get it. It's a lot of money to spend for, you know, a metal detector. But they did, you know, lower the price and come up with a, a WS6 Master setup. If you want to get one of these, uh, Fort Bedford carries them, so I recommend reaching out to them. But there is no difference um, in performance between the WS6 Master setup and the, uh, the remote. So... Uh, if you think you're getting shortchanged by getting a smaller footprint here with this version, you're really not. Um, I'm going to go through my test garden here just a little bit, kind of walk through some of the updates they provided. I've got a big truck going by. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, one of the things I was that was missing before was the uh, you only had one level of notch. Now you have like three, and there's just everything they put in the new update for the remote. Uh, most of it's in here that I can tell. So let's just kind of like go through some of these things here. Um, it's got, I got a little bit of wind today, so I might get some wind feedback. I brought the headphones out because there is no speaker with this setup, so I'm hoping that you can hear the headphones. Um, just out of default, I'm not changing anything that, you know, out of the box or out of the configuration for this machine um, the way it is. I'm in general, program number one, I just want to see and prove that you can hear everything you can with the remote. So here's the 10-inch dime. No issues there. My other deepest target in my test garden is a 12 inch half dollar. Still no issue there. I think the most surprising feature of the new update is the ability to separate out of iron. So here's an iron, a uh, bunch of nails on a hole. I think I got like three or four nails in the hole. And then there's a mercury diamond here. So you can hear the iron. But it, it totally pulls out that dime now. This was pretty hard to do with the other machines, and even the Days 2. I mean, you could get it, definitely, but this is much more clear now. Some of the new features in here that I found that I think are really cool is the, st is the square high tone. Let me just pull this off, and we'll just walk through some of the menu items here. So in the Days 2, the remote, you have um, some options here. Let's go into the audio feature. So the audio feature, if you keep going down um, and you hold that button and keep going down again, you can pick your audio type. Um, right now, by default, um, Program 1 General is in PWM. You could change it to square. You can Now you can change it to high square. So let's just leave it at that for a minute and walk through these targets again just so you can hear the difference. I did a video already on the uh, remote, same thing, but... Uh, just to show you, you still have this feature in the WS6. So it's a little flutier sound. I really like this square high tones. I'm really dig digging that. Now, I'm only in a two-tone program, so let's uh, it it even changes more when you change to a like a five-tone or full tones. Let's get out of here. Let's go into our menu and discrimination. You notice you have a little long or a little down arrow. When you see that, you know you have to hold the button down to get into the other menu, the extra or the advanced menu. So right now I'm in two tones. Let's change it to five and then listen to the targets this way. So back to this 10 inch dime. See how fluty it sounds? That's a war nickel that's all jacked up. But here's that 12 inch half again. Man, I love that square tone. That is sweet. And now you can come in here. Really hear that dime in those nails. So that's just one little example. Let's go to full tones. And uh, there's pitch. There's full tones. Let's check out what that sounds like. Again, here's the dime. Hopefully you can hear that. 
so pretty cool. Uh, here's that nickel. Here's that uh, 12 inch half. Really cool. I mean, even the nail now and the or the murk in between the nails. Listen to that. That's super cool. <laughs> I'm really loving this update. Uh, a couple new features, like the remote. You had. Um, let's get out of here. Uh, let's go into. Let's keep going down the menu. Sensitivity. Your freak range or your max freak range. So now you can shorten your multi frequency range you can start you can go all the way up to 40 like you have here or you can start lowering it say you only want to go from 0 to 24 uh, kilohertz or maybe you only want to go from 0 to 14 kilohertz shortens that frequency range up and actually makes some of these targets hit harder so I don't know if you'll be able to tell in this video but I actually think it sounds better when you shorten the range a little bit in some of these coins they seem to hit harder in my opinion but again I'm using the WSA2 headphones so it's gonna be hard to tell through the audio of this video um, so that's one cool feature I'm gonna bump that back up to 40 um, now you can change the iron volume which is super awesome because now like for the iron nails and stuff that I have over here I can actually almost get rid of them completely I'm gonna bump this down to three and go through this target and I bet you you're not even gonna hear any of the iron in here or very very little of it I mean I don't hear any iron grunts in there at three that's pretty cool too I love that feature that's a game changer there in my opinion uh, when you get in some high trash and high uh, iron areas that's gonna be awesome I'm gonna bump that back up to seven where I had it um, keep going down reactivity change hasn't changed audio response hasn't changed Here's your ground bounce and your uh, uh, ground grab. So that's that. So I mean, for the most part, um, there's some other things. Uh, oh, let's go into notch. So if you go into notch, you have to go into your advanced menu under discrimination. So again, they have that little down arrow. Let's hold that down. Uh, we're in full tones. Keep going. Um, the offset now, I need to do a little bit more research on what that's actually going to do, but I believe that changes the way your iron comes in or your first tone break or whatever comes in so for instance if you have um, some high if you have a high squeaker in here if you change this offset a little bit let's say you have a lot of iron coming through you can kind of get rid of that iron I believe if you raise this I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell So I'll have to go do some more testing on this offset feature. I know Calabash did some stuff on it. I think what it does, it, it, it pops out that high tone a little bit better. Well, actually a lot better from what I've saw. So um, stay tuned on that. I got some more tests. We'll do more tests with the, with the remote and speaker just to get you guys familiar with that. Um, we'll bump it back down to five. Uh, B-caps zero. So here's your notch, right? So if you're going to change your notch, you have three options or three setting, three notch settings you can change. You have notch one. If you go down, oh, I did it wrong. Go back to notch. So you have another down long press arrow. So you need to hold that button in. So now what you could do is you can cycle through each of the notches. You can go to notch one, notch two, notch three. So each of these is configurable to whatever you want. This was a complaint we had. The last version we only had one level of notch, now we have two. So if you want to change the notch and not start notching out things, um, you just start using your plus and minus arrows. And then you go to the next one, you can change that. You know, So you have some options now, that's really cool. I like the, like the way they did that. So, But I don't want to have any notch right now, so I'm going to move, take these out till they're off. And then go down here notch three and the notch one I had turned on so we're gonna minus out of it till it says off and there we're off so that's pretty cool so in a nutshell I mean that's that's really all I want to show you today in the in the WS6 setup performance everything is just like it is with the remote 
I'm super excited they did all this extra stuff in the uh, the WS6 master setup. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there were looking at getting a, a master versus the full remote setup. And I'm going to tell you right now, with the 9-inch coil, which I have on here right now, I have both the 9 and 11. Uh, the, the, the magic combination is that 9-inch coil. So if you're looking for, you know, trying to figure out which coil to get, if, if it were me, my opinion, I would stick with the 9. I like the 11. I've had good success with the 11. But the 9-inch coils on these machines have always been the money. I, I just think they've been, the 9-inch coils are made for this machine. 11s are fine. 13s are fine. But I just think the 9 is 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 this the best combination. It's just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt if you want. But um, that's really it. That's all I want to show you today. Some of the stuff in the WS6 Master Setup. I'm telling you, this new update for the Days 2 is is pretty pretty awesome. Um, if you're waiting to update, you shouldn't. It's, it's going to be good. So, uh, And the update process was simple, easy to do, easy to follow. Kudos to XP for... You know, making this one of the easiest updates, in my opinion, that uh, I've ever had to do for this machine or old machines. So uh, don't be afraid to do the updates. Very simple. Some people, though, are having trouble with their headphones. That's just because they have to use a single cable, not the one that has all the three cables with the coil clip charger on it. You can't use that one to char to uh, update your your headphones. You got to do it with the single USB charger cable that you get. And uh, I know some, some people had trouble plugging into older computers, so I'm not sure if the type of USB version matters, but uh, if you can get a more recent USB version, like a USB 3, 2, um, that is probably going to solve your problem there too. All right, well, that's it for me today. Um, hope you got something out of the video. If you did, send me a comment, hit me a, give me a like, and uh, subscribe to the Mental Metal channel. If you're looking for this machine, uh, like I said, Fort Bedford has them. Uh, they can get them for you if they don't. They got the coils. Uh, you know, they got everything. So uh, look them up and uh, tell them the Mental Metal channel sent you. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another Mental Metal video.